Today I'm going to show you how to draw the stages of the butterfly life cycle. The egg, the caterpillar, the chrysalis, and the butterfly. If you want this graphic organizer, click on the link in the description. And I designed a few different versions, some that already have the picture in it, and ones that are blank so that you can draw your own. I also designed it so that there's a space that you can write what you learned about each stage of the life cycle in this space here. The first stage of the butterfly life cycle is the egg, and the eggs can be cylindrical or spherical, um, or they can be kind of like an oval. I'm choosing to draw a painted lady egg because that's the type of butterfly that I have in my classroom. So I drew kind of a cylinder shape. And then I just drew some lines going from top to bottom that are a little bit curved. This particular egg has ridges on it. Then to make them look a little more 3D, I kind of went outside the circle a little bit, added top and bottom, top and bottom. And that's pretty much all I did for the egg. Now I'm going to start with the caterpillar by drawing one little kind of circle or oval. And that's the caterpillar's head. And I'll put one little oval here for the eye. This is a side view. And next I'm going to draw three little ovals or segments. This part of the caterpillar's body is called the thorax. There are two tentacles that I'm going to draw coming out of that first segment. And now I'm going to draw the rest of the caterpillar's body. So I'm going to draw nine more little oval segments and they don't need to be perfect or all exactly the same shape. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the last one looks a little bit different. This last section of the caterpillar is called the abdomen. Now I'm going to draw three little legs on those first three sections. These are the caterpillar's real legs and they're jointed. That means they can bend. So I label them as legs. And then the caterpillar also has some kind of little legs that are not jointed that just help the caterpillar hold on to the stem or the leaf when it's eating. Four there and then one back here. And of course they have legs on the other side too. This is a side view. And then I'm going to label these. And these are called pro legs. Now something I like to do just to make the caterpillar look a little more 3D, like it has dimension, is I'm just drawing a little line in each of the little body segments to look like you can kind of see the underside of the caterpillar. And then I'm adding a little dot or a little circle in each segment. These are air holes so that the caterpillar can breathe and they're called spiracles. All right, so we have our egg and we have our caterpillar and now I'm going to show you the chrysalis, which is the pupa stage when the caterpillar is going through its metamorphosis or its change. So I like to start by drawing a branch and I do that by drawing two straight lines. And then to make it look like a tree branch, I draw a couple eyes, which are half circles and then a couple lines. And then maybe I put a couple leaves on the end to make it look like a tree. And now I'm going to draw a letter U or V, and that kind of makes the silk pad that the chrysalis hangs from. And then two straight lines go down, and then I added some lines in the middle of that. This is called the cremaster, and this is how the um, caterpillar, or pupa, hangs from the silk pad. Now I'm going to draw the actual chrysalis. And I'm doing that first by making kind of a hill shape. 
Then I'm gonna come over to the left side of my hill and just draw a line that just goes straight down. And then I'll come to the bottom of that line and I'll connect it back up to the right side, but I can make it kind of bumpy or kind of come out a little bit. Now inside of the chrysalis, he's making a wing, so I'm gonna draw kind of a little wing shape in there. And then down here is where um, the head uh, is forming. So I drew a little eye because the eye forms inside of the chrysalis and the head as well. And then up here, I'm gonna start drawing some kind of abdominal segments, little rectangle or ovals, similar to what we had for the caterpillar because the abdominal segments are forming as well. So I drew three little segments there and then a couple up here, kind of sticking with that hill shape, but you can go outside of it a little bit to add some texture. And then I came over to the wing and I just drew a straight line and drew a couple little lines thinking about a butterfly wing. And then the last thing that I did is I came down here and I added some texture and just made it look kind of bumpy. And there is our chrysalis. To start the butterfly, I drew an oval for the head and I drew two big eyes, one on the left and one on the right. Two lines to make the antennae. And then I drew a little spiral. This is the proboscis. They use it to sip up the nectar. Here we have the thorax, and then I drew another little area for the abdomen, but lightly, because then I'm going to go through and draw the uh, body segments here, which are the little ovals that you will recognize from the chrysalis and the caterpillar. Now I'm going to measure to draw. I'm starting at the eyes, eye level. Put down about two fingers. Doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm trying to make the left and right hand um, the same. Two dots. Now I'm going to come down though to about this area and draw up so that the wing is at a diagonal. Now I'm going to come down and make another little mark there and there, and I tried to go, two fingers was too far, one was too short, so I just kind of went, you know, a little further than halfway over. Not perfect, just try to make it the same on the left and the right if you can. And then I came up a little higher from where I was, a little higher up, so that it's at a diagonal going downwards. Now I'm going to draw kind of like a, a letter W, in and out, in, and out, and then on the right side, in and out. And now I have my two wings. Now I'm gonna come over to the left wing where this dot is and draw a very light line going down and then come to the bottom of the abdomen, do the same thing. Do it on the right side as well. And I'm drawing a diagonal line, diagonal line, okay? Go to the bottom of the abdomen, count up three, one, two, three. Go down, one, two, three and go down and connect, and then just connect it back up and back up. Now, if you wanna stop here, that's totally fine. I'm going to show you how to make it look like a painted lady. Kind of complicated, but you can do it. I'm going to draw four lines. One, two, three, and four. And then on the right side, one, two, three, four. Now I'm going to make uh, connect these segments. One, two, three, four, five, and then the same on the right side. One, two, three, four, five. You can see that it was um, kind of smaller as you went down. Now I'm going to draw a couple little half circles, and these will be white later. Now I'm going to draw just a couple spots because the butterfly has a few more spots on the wing. So whatever I do on the left, I do it on the right. I do kind of a little box, a little oval. 
And now I'll go back to the left side above these half circles and just draw a little oval for each half circle. One, two, three. Okay, that's the top. On the bottom, I'm going to draw a line going straight down like that, and then do the same on the right side. And then I'm going to draw kind of up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, and then on the right side, up, down, up. Great, now I just do a couple more lines. One on the left, and then on the right, and then again on the left, and then again on the right. I drew some little circles. Whatever you do on the left, do on the right. I drew three. One, two, three, so I put three on the right side as well. And then in this bottom section, I drew some lines. One, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. Add some half circles where the line meets the bottom of the wing. And then in each of these little sections, I drew a couple little circles. And now you pretty much have your butterfly all finished. Look at the picture to see how to color it if you want it to look like a painted lady. I made a little mouth at the top, added a little bit of texture here on the thorax. And now I'm going to label some of the anatomy of the butterfly. These are the antennae. If it were one, it would be an anten antenna, but we add that E and say antennae to make it plural. This is called the proboscis. It's how the butterfly accesses nectar. Eyes. There are two types of wings. There is the hind wings, or there are the hind wings, the ones on the bottom, and then the ones on the top are called the fore wings. And they have two hind wings and two fore wings. And there we have it. We have our butterfly life cycle egg to caterpillar, chrysalis, butterfly, and then you can fold down the edges so that you have the, um, the stages there. Again, if you want this graphic organizer, you can get it by clicking the link in the comments below. But you can also make this on a regular piece of paper. And once you have it drawn, you can write something above each drawing, maybe write about what you learned about each stage of the cycle.